Microsoft is figuring out how to store data in slabs of glass. But why? Let me explain. Let's talk storage for a second. Do you know what a zettabyte is? You've probably heard of gigabytes or a terabyte, like this is a one terabyte hard disk drive. It'll take one billion of these to complete one zettabyte. And as of 2020, we had 59 zettabytes of data. Some projections say that going up to 2025, we may have 175 zettabytes of data. Yep, that's 175 billion terabytes. And storage size isn't the only problem. The storage media that we have, which is essentially magnetic, is not that good. It has a finite lifespan and eventually it dies, which means you have to copy that data from it to another drive before it dies. Otherwise, the data is gone, which means it's not sustainable, creates a lot of waste. And of course, servers need a ton of electricity, air conditioning and everything to be maintained. We will run out of storage media soon. So something has to come, right? That's a problem that Project Silica is trying to solve. It's a research funded by Microsoft, which is trying to figure out a better way to store data. And they've used glass. Yes, glass. They're storing data in slabs of glass. You may think, wait, that's dumb. Glass is more fragile, right? It'll easily drop and break. Well, it's not made for you and me to use as a hard drive or something. It's made for servers to store data permanently. They use special lasers to engrave data three-dimensionally in a glass slab. Each pixel of a data here is called a voxel. I guess it's a volumetric pixel. And they say you can have up to 200 layers of that in a thin slab of glass. And they've managed to make it store a lot more data. They say that in a two millimeter thick platter, similar to a DVD, that glass can store seven terabytes of data. That's way more than what a DVD can handle, right? What's the largest size of a DVD that you've seen? Let me know. I've never been much of a movies on DVD type guy myself, so I don't know. Once data is written in those slabs, they can be stored in regular shelves. And they've designed this weird robot to navigate those shelves and get the right kind of slab when the data is requested. Apparently, they've designed this for the cloud so whenever someone requests that data this robot will go and fetch that right slab and bring it to the reading section the reading device is a high-speed microscopic camera that can instantly go to that sector and bring out that data it doesn't have to wait for the hard disk spinning drives to stabilize or anything it's a slab of glass and it doesn't wear out like SSDs do after some time and again since they are just slabs of glass they don't need any air conditioning electricity any kind of environmental condition to be stored as long as they aren't physically damaged, they'll be fine. So that's what they mean by storing data forever. Even though this is in its early stages, there are some downsides. Like for example, this is read only. You can't write new data to it. So if you have a bunch of new photos or something, you can't upload and write it on the same glass. So far, it's meant to hold data and store it without using much resources. But hey, we've come this far. Who's to say that they can't devise a mechanism for reading and writing to this slab? It's not the glass that's the problem. It's the instrument and the methods that they're using. And this thing's been going on for several years actually so it's still in progress either way something has to come up otherwise where will we store our homework videos right it may or may not be cheaper as such because all of these special equipment will take some time for mass adoption but it is environmentally sustainable you know it doesn't require tons of electricity to store them and as a result it may not produce as much heat or greenhouse gases either if they can figure out mass availability then i would say yes typical storage servers have been replaced if they had to make a consumer version of this, how would they make it? I mean, if they had to make an SSD, which you and I can use directly on our systems, that probably won't be possible anytime soon because we don't have all that extra hardware, right? The lasers and everything. We can't just plug it in with a SATA port and have it read and write data super fast. So it's still pretty far away from being consumer grade, but I'm glad that it's already enterprise grade, which is what powers most of our applications anyway. I mean, who really uses storage devices nowadays? It's all online streaming, right? So I'm glad they went the enterprise route and didn't go for a consumer device out of it. Either way, what do you think of Project Silica? Do you foresee any problems with this thing? Let me know.